slave master. The white man that was speaking Spanish down there. I'm not going to do anything before anything. We're there with Indians and the Aztecs, the Indians, the Mayans. Right, right. Well, but you know, before that, we all knew we were, we were brothers. The Aztecs, the Incas, the Mayans, the North American Indians, we all knew we were brothers. We all knew we were the same people, okay? Because we served the Most High Christ. We all knew. In the land which thou knowest not, right? The land that we know is not is America. North Central and South America. We didn't know these lands. We don't. When ye have kindled a fire in my anger, we kindled a fire in the Most High's anger. Why? Because we didn't want to serve him like how we were supposed to serve him. We don't. Which shall burn forever. And it shall burn forever. But is it going to be forever? No, because Christ died for us and he, he shed his blood for us to bring us back to the Most High. That's what the blood of Christ is about. And his punishment is the world like an as the, as the world, this society is going to end soon. The, the, this society, the, the world on itself, as, as far as the whole globe, is not going to end. But is, is, uh, is this, this society going to end? Then Egypt fall, they became wicked. Babylon fell, they became wicked. Why wouldn't America fall? Because America. What's so righteous about America? Think about it. What's righteous about America? What has America done right? They still in Iraq, right? They still in Iraq. They still and they going in Iraq. First of all, they said they were, they were in Iraq for weapons of mass destruction. Yeah. They found no weapons of mass destruction. Why are you still in there? Yeah. So you're trying to you're trying to push your democracy. That's why. Okay, and democracy is nothing but the uh, is nothing but a modern day form of slavery. How do you know that? Most blacks are what? Democrats. Democrats poverty pick off the blacks and Hispanics. They're worse than the Republicans. If you check out the history of the Democrats and the Republicans, the so-called black man will be better off being a Republican instead of a Democrat. Because, you know why? Because the, the democratic system is made to suck the blood out of the poor, suck the suck the everything. The Democrats are the first step communism. No, the communism is actually a better way to go. If you understand what communism is, because then everybody's on an even scale. Everybody's on an even scale. Everybody has health care. Well, how come this is supposed to be yeah, the greatest uh, country in America? You watched that movie or one more? Uh, Sicko. Yeah, Sicko. Yeah, that was a good now, movie. How come this is supposed to be the greatest country in America, right? But you have third world countries like, like uh, Cuba that have better health care systems than us. Haiti that have better health care systems than us. So how, well, why do you think this country is not great? It's not great at all. Okay, none whatsoever. Why do you have homelessness all throughout the country? But you have a lot of billionaires and millionaires, you understand? And, and, and look, look at all of the, the, the rich amongst our people. Why can't, why is it that they have laws set up that they can't help out in their communities? Why is that? Oprah Winfrey, why do you think she built the school in Africa? Because she couldn't do it here in America. They forbid that. If you do, you have to integrate. She wanted to build a school just for blacks in America. She couldn't do that. Why? That's why she was out. Why? Why? Because they have schools just for white. So why can't you do it for your own people? What? They, they, they had schools for blacks like more. Huh? They had schools for blacks like more now. Schools, schools, more how old from it? Schools that are uh, that you think are black schools, Morehouse, uh, Howard, those schools were set up by the Illuminati. And the black uh, and, and, and you had a, a group of black men that wanted to be Masons and they called themselves the Boulet. Yeah, the Freemasons. The Bo right, the Freemasons, they call themselves the Boulet. Oh, oh, right, right, hold on for a minute. Because they were jealous at what a white America was doing. Because you know what Freemasonry is about? Freemasonry is, is built off of a lot of witchcraft and Masonic symbols, right. and it goes back into the worship of Satan. Baphomet. But right, listen, it goes back into Baphomet, worshiping of Baphomet, which represents Satan. Okay, so when you see these Greek fraternities and these sororities, all that goes back into what the Boule. Who did the Boule take orders from? The Boule take orders from the Illuminati. They're a lower branch because the blacks they were jealous that the whites were, the whites had their own club. It wasn't the blacks. They wanted their own club. Albert Pike was the one who started Freemasonry. Albert Pike was the John Adams. He, he, was, he, right. he, he was the third and third in Freemasonry. Okay? So you gotta understand something. You, 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 you get a lot of people. Yeah, we can show it a little child with a sibling. You got a young sister right here. You can show it a sibling. But when you, got, when, you got, when you got a lot of these fraternities and sororities and then pledging, who are you pledging to? You pledging to the Most High in Christ and you pledging to Satan. A lot of our people don't know their pledges. You are pledging to Satan. That's what you're pledging to.
What they were doing was the Spaniards under Rodrigo Bogier and his son Caesar Bogier, who ran the army of the, of the Spanish, what they were doing, they were going all throughout the earth and whitewashing, that wasn't in Conquistos, it was the Spaniards, and, and whitewashing all the images, the dark skin images of Christ, the angels, okay, the Most High, from this color to this color. That's what Renaissance means, it means a rebirth. That's what they were doing. And this man right here, he is Caesar Bolger, the son of Pope Alexander II, okay? And he actually became the new image of Christ. And that's a person? This is actually a person's name. His name is Caesar Bolger, okay? He was from Spain, okay? So you got it? I the, the scriptures go, go to um go to uh, Timothy two two fifteen to study to show us over proof. You, you have to you have to rehearse these things and you have to um study. Hold on for me. Let me get a page. Nice. So basically, when they put this, when they put this image up right here, this was like a subconscious programming of our people. Like he was going into like how we naturally have a fear for the heavenly father and Christ. Like this was when they replaced this image with this image, that naturally started to put in us and still in us to not just fear this image as Christ, but to associate the fear of Christ with this nation right here that this image represents. And everything that this image represents. If it doesn't represent the righteousness that this image will represent. So this image right here, right here, this and this represents rape, uh, racism and lies and deception and, and, and trickery and fraud. 